Yes, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the United Twins with myself, CM, and my twin bro, Cappy, on the other line. Today, we're going to speak about Man United's 1 1 draw against Crystal Palace. United, United. Blessings to everybody inside, including yourself, Cappy. Now, as you all know by now, before we get into the bulk of the episode, I need to ask you the. Question of the day. That was me? Shut up! So, over to the question. Manchester United and Arsenal have a lot of history behind them, a lot of great moments for both teams. But what was the scoreline of the very first fixture between United and Arsenal with Sir Alex Ferguson and Arsene Wenger in charge? Let us know in the comment section below and at the end of the episode, we'll reveal the answer. First half of the game, away from home, I thought it was a physical battle in the middle of the park. Both teams looked to compete on that side of things, but I think we edged it with a little more quality and got rewarded with a goal just before half time from Bruno Fernandes. From a Palace perspective, a really poor goal to concede because Rashford and Eriksen combined with Rashford's through ball being way too easy to play. Mm. Ericsson slides it across and Bruno is there as the late runner to take a touch and just slap it into the back of the net. At the time, while I was watching from the stands, I was saying that had to be a demoralizing goal to concede. Did that end up to be the case though? Second half, watching in the comfort of my own home, CM. <laughs> You know Snake! <laughs> but nah, 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 in the second half, there seemed to be a bit of energy zapped out of the performance. I don't know if we had our minds on Sunday and wanted to shut up shop, but if that was the case, it ended up being the wrong decision. Palace did a good job of unsettling our players, isolating us in wide areas, closing the gaps and winning the ball back ASAP. Palace also gave away the ball a fair bit. So it was one of those halves, frustrating to play in and frustrating to watch. Let me know what you think in the comments. Ten Hag said that we must keep our feet on the ground after that City win because there are many improvements to be made and a day like this adds substance to those comments. We were wasteful in a taxi. Really that the ruthlessness needed to kill off the game. Yeah. And any time that happens, there will always be a chance for the opposition to catch in like his Ladbrokes. And did Crystal Palace cash in? Damn right they did. What a free kick by Elise. Oh, man. That was a damn good free kick. Damn. And he had the audacity CM to walk away like a bad man. No, 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 no. Less of that, man. But it could have, it could have got even worse. If it wasn't for Aaron Wan-Bissaka's wonder tackle on Wilfred Zaha just before the end of the game. What a scoop tackle. What a scoop tackle. Mm -mm. Zaha made some comments saying only Aaron can make that challenge. And when he looked back, he was like, Lord of mercy, is him. Damn right it is. And we needed him there at the right time. De Gea made some key saves as well. Really good one from Mark Gay. He made another one where he tipped it onto the crossbar as well earlier on in the proceedings. You know, overall, it could have been better and it could have been worse. So in the end, to me, that probably says the final result was fair to both teams. Just to round up the game, Cappy, with the fact that Casemiro will be missing the Arsenal game after picking up his fifth yellow card of the season against Crystal Palace. Eric Ten Hag mentioned that we won in the reverse fixture without him. So of course, we can walk into Sunday's game with confidence in the grand scheme of things, Absolutely. but the performance has to be there too. Mm. And that's the most important thing for me at least. Yes. Let me know in the comment section below. Let us know in the comment section below if missing Casemiro will be a big issue or will we just be a-okay. But now, ladies and gents, it's time to reveal said answer to the... Of the day. That was me. Shut up. Roll the clip. What was the scoreline of the very first fixture between United and Arsenal with Sir Alex Ferguson and Arsene Wenger in charge? Tito. 
all here like on a vid Subscribe to the channel if you respect the twin Now back to the video, answer the thing and hop in the chat Don't question time, question time, question time So, how did you fare in this episode's question of the day? Let's see the answer on the 16th of November 1996 at Old Trafford, Manchester United won 1-0 against Arsenal courtesy of an Nigel Winterburn on goal. Mm, thank you very much. That same season, we go on to win our 4th Premier League title and 11th overall. So if you got the answer correct based off your own memory, slap a 1 in the chat. If you use Google, slap a 2 in the chat. Oh, there's no shame in using Google. But if you didn't even bother to answer the question, stop a free in the chat. Oh, come on. Next time, next episode, I want to see in your comments, clicking away, finding that answer and having some fun. Come on. Shout out to Super Nick for the intel. But we'd like to say something before we go through the outro. On this day in 1994, Sir Matt Busby, a true legend of the club, passed away. And in brief, if you don't know much about him, he was the manager of the iconic Busby Bays team who unfortunately and tragically went through adversity due to the Munich air disaster where eight players passed away. He helped rebuild the team and had further success at the club winning multiple trophies including the European Cup which we know as today as the Champions League. So rest in peace Sir Matt Busby. Your name will continue to be spoken about and most importantly remembered in the minds of millions billions maybe of manchester united fans around the world ladies and gentlemen it's not a usual thing to see me doing the intro at the end of our episodes but hey i'm here and what i'd ask of you is to drop a like on the video subscribe if you're new and leave a comment in the comments section but thank you to each and every one of you here watching whether it's in the premiere or a little after that we will be back with a review after the Arsenal game and I'll be back on the watch alone streak because the streak was broken for the Crystal Palace game. But we will restart that on Sunday. So watch out for the Stay United Watch Alone live on this channel. It's going to be a movie, ladies and gentlemen. But I want you to have a wonderful end to the week. A wonderful start to the weekend. And until the next time, we'll see you a lot sooner. Bye.